Today we're gonna to be making giant paper airplanes and then we're gonna to attempt to make them radio control. All right, welcome back. We got a different flavor today as you can see. It's yes. gonna be fun. Every school teacher right now is cringing and they don't know why. <laughs> Wait, what? Don't you remember, <laughs> don't you remember when you were seven? Oh seven? yeah, you're not supposed to throw them in class. Yeah. I got you. <laughs> So today we are going to be taking the classic paper airplanes designs and we're gonna be making large scale models out of our foam board. Yeah, now this isn't new. A lot of really great people from the community have been doing it, but this time we wanna go super size. So when we build a giant paper airplane, it's huge, but it still flies the same speed as like a typical paper airplane would. So we started with having Noah try out a couple different uh, models of paper airplanes that he found online. Whoa! <laughs> and out of them, these are the two favorite. I like the classic. Uh, I tried building a lot of different paper airplanes growing up. This was the only one that I could get to fly actually good. That is the iconic paper. We tried to find the name of these, by the way, and we couldn't. This is called the paper it's airplane. It's just the paper airplane. Yeah. What do you got? I got pretty much the exact same thing as yours, except this one. Modified. Yeah, modified. And a matter of fact, there's no real name for this either on YouTube. It's called Plane That Flies Long. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that's what the, we're gonna call this is plane that flies long, but I liked it because it had these crazy winglets and it really seemed like it was slow and stable. Where this guy has a long glide slope, but it's a little bit quicker, right? Yes, yeah. So we got our pieces cut out. We're gonna get some hot glue flowing. We're gonna get these uh, put together. One day build project. Let's do it. So there's a really cool balance between weight, size, and airspeed. Uh, we want these to fly like a slow you know, paper airplane would. This has a really light wing loading. Uh, by going large like this, right now it is incredibly light, probably the same proportion to this. The only downside is as we start putting electronics on it, it's gonna make it a lot heavier. With more wing loading comes more speed to make it fly. So we may find that I have to go back to the drawing board and I have to build a whole new one or find a smaller motor to make this fly nice and slow. So we're always going on about this maker foam that you probably guys are familiar with. Um, but what a lot of people don't know is this is like based off the foam board that you buy at the dollar store. In other words, it's paper back. So, or foam core is another way they describe it. So there's paper on both sides and then the center is this foam. Not only is that good because it's lightweight and super rigid, but also um, you can do interesting things with the paper. Now you can see here and you can obviously crack through the foam down to one piece of paper and it makes a nice little hinge. And this is actually how we make a lot of our control surfaces on our airplanes. But what you can also do is I've been cutting these bevel cuts and what the bevel cuts are gonna allow me to do is kind of fold that into a fold, almost like a, a perfect 90 degree, depending on how good your bevel cuts is. And you fill that pocket with glue and then you let it dry. Not only does it hold really well, but it also adds a ton of rigidity and strength to the airframe. So the idea with doing this is rather than folding it and trying to get it to stay like that and then having that big ugly gap on the bottom, I want this to look like paper flying through the air. So I'm gonna fold it the other way into that bevel cut and then you can see how nice that corner looks on the other side. Dude, that looks really cool. It looks like a real plane. No, I feel like I'm a small person trying to build like a normal sized paper airplane. There it is. It literally is going together just like one. The only thing that I have to do differently is bevel cut that foam like I was talking about to get these folds to go over. But it's gonna have a really cool look to it, I think. All right guys, so I wanna thank the sponsor of today's video, our good friends over at Digit. Now if you don't know what Digit is, Digit is an AI savings app that you can download on iOS and Android literally right now. So there's a, actually a link down below that you can check out here to get a 30 day free trial of Digit. So if you're not familiar with Digit, Digit is an automated savings app. You can use Digit on iOS, Android, and the web. So it essentially takes your spending habits, analyzes them, and then says on that day, is it cool to save a couple bucks here or a couple bucks there or not? One great advantage of Digit is that when you're looking to pay off debt, for example, it crushes that debt, right? So you can pay on that principal every month on top of the monthly payments you're already paying. So personally for me, I really wanna take my wife and my kids to Disney World, right? And so like, I'm just terrible at saving, but Digit allows for me to take a dollar or two or three here and there and add that up over a period of time, and then I'll have the money to take my kids and my family to Disney World. Now for you guys, it could be using Digit to save for maybe coming out next summer to Flight Fest with your family. So one of the reasons I really like Digit is because I don't save well, I don't think about it. And so this obviously takes all of the guesswork out of it. Another cool thing on top of that is that it saves for specific goals. So you can set those goals for whatever it is you want, whether that's paying off debt faster, taking a vacation, 
or maybe just a rainy day. The best thing about that is that it actually communicates with you through text or within the app about the milestones that you've hit. Another really cool feature about Digit is overdraft prevention. Now, what that means is that if you get too low or below a certain point in your checking account, Digit will actually send money to your checking account once you dip below that threshold. So for me, there's a ton of reasons to use Digit. One of those is being the financial health aspect of it. For me, I don't wanna go home to my family and have my water heater break and not have the ability to pay for that. Or tell my wife, hey, we can't go on that vacation that we really wanted to go on because we're not been saving. Digit takes all of that guesswork and all of those issues away by saving incrementally over time. So if you're like me and you wanna make sure that financial health is a priority for you this year, check the link below, get Digit. You're gonna get a 30 day free trial by checking out that link. And a huge thanks to Digit for sponsoring this episode and to all of you guys watching. Without you watching, without Digit, none of this content would be possible. So let's check out those paper airplanes. So my plane that flies long is pretty much ready for a glide test. And the reason we do glide tests is because we want to find where the center of gravity is. Center of gravity is where the plane balances, and it's not actually where it balances even on both sides, but it's where the center of pressure is going to be located. Uh, when you find that, the plane's going to fly the farthest. So before we do any project, whether it's a simple project like this or a flying battleship, we oftentimes make a small scale one and glide it back and forth to find where that center of gravity is. Once you know where that is, all your electronics and all your placement can be based to make sure the plane balances as easy as possible without adding any extra weight. This is where paper cuts are born. Okay, so foam paper cuts are the worst. I've seen gashes the size of Texas. So. Ready? Yep. Yeah. Hey, oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> we should have known it's a paper airplane. Yes. Ready? Yeah. Okay, oh. I, I shot that. Like, yeah. You... Soft and gentle. Okay. Uh -huh. That just floats into my into my hands. Let's see if they little nose up. If you don't like chuck gliders ever and you're only flying powered systems, please go out and find a glider and chuck it. It is one of the most satisfying things in the world. Trust me. Cool, I think that flies pretty good. What we'll do is before we do anything else, once we're happy with it. We make a mark where the plane balances, and that's our center of gravity. And then we can move forward with electronics and all the other good stuff. Oh, yeah! All right, so mine's figured out. Now it's time to check Alex's. <laughs> that was cool. Well, dude, you always put the whole extent in there. <laughs> I didn't do anything. It's just like a classic paper airplane folded up. It normally balances perfect every time. It works with foam board, too. Oh, what are you going for there, buddy? <laughs> it's funny though, because like the way the foam goes, it's just like the actual classic paper airplanes. You're, it was so hard to always get your pointy nose perfectly pointy. And so I globbed some hot glue on there, a little glue bumper. Um, I'm just gonna call it now. Challenge to our community out there. Make big paper airplanes that don't have any controls when you're done with this and toss them with your kids. Like yeah. Walmart gliders are like 10, 12 bucks. Yeah. This is like one sheet of foam. Yeah, this is perfect. <laughs> One thing too is oftentimes we talk about airfoils and an airfoil if you guys build any of our simple series oftentimes look kind of like a teardrop uh, and that's for a good reason but there's also another airfoil that's incredibly effective and also simple called the KF airfoil, Klein Fogelman. That's actually what this is doing right here. By having this step here and then this lower step, air doesn't know when it drops down and it actually is in air's mind a very smooth surface. That's right. Very efficient surface. Air has a brain. Has a brain. <laughs> <laughs> Josh actually used a, that KF step in a lot of our early models like the FT Delta. It's one of the easiest ways to basically make an airfoil and that's why you see it in a lot of DIY scratch built models. Alex, do you think it would glide because of its self-leveling? Do you think if I get down there you can toss it to me? Off yes. the balcony? Yes. Absolutely. Balcony. Don't put it in the drink. Woo, it's chilly. Yeah. All right, which way is the wind going? Kind of like this. All right, buddy. All right, so we can't have a giant paper airplane without doing the Edgewater balcony test. So here it is, Edgewater balcony test 2020. Josh, I'm sorry, but I think it's going to go farther than that, at least optimistically, I think. Here we go. She can't help but throw it like a football. Here we go. Yes, go, 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 go! Yes! It's catching thermal! Not the river, are you? <laughs> yes. yes, dude! Yes! yes. <laughs> that went way farther than I ever expected. Turbulent wind and everything. It's like blowing 17 miles an hour. It was like, right the now. thing is, it was going down and then like up. 
And it went up again, and then we got, it was great. <laughs> great work. All right, let's put some. Woo! It's time to uh, get some electronics on these guys. And uh, Josh actually had to run down to our manufacturing and shipping facility because orders are through the roof. If a lot of you guys don't know, we actually have a store, an online store. And it's a lot of the reason that we're able to do all these crazy projects is because of you guys supporting. But recently we opened our second warehouse. That's an East Coast warehouse here in the US. And that's thanks to our partners over at Amain. Long story short, there's a lot of orders going out Josh is down there on the ground floor helping out Austin Christian Mitchell down there getting orders shipped out so thank you guys first and foremost but we need to get electronics on these planes and Josh isn't here but that's okay because we got this guy now you have probably been noticing this guy in the background a lot this is Noah this is actually Josh's son and you've been helping us out with keeping the projects rolling while we're traveling and going to CES taking care of a lot of the uh, business side of things this guy keeps the projects going yep how's it been going for you so far uh, it's going pretty good though. Um, we're trying to figure out the balance point. Yeah. Because yours flew perfect, no nose weight. Yeah, yours need a little nose weight. Yeah, ours need a little no weight. So uh, we had to kind of find a way to shift all the electronics forward. Looks like you're coming along nice. I got to get mine figured out. We're both using Power Pack A twins. So these are going to be twin motor airplanes. You guys know as we like twins because you can program what's called differential thrust. And basically what that allows you to do is you use the two motors individually to give you more yaw authority left and right. I got my power pack, I got all my stuff. I'm gonna start getting the power on here and I'm looking forward to it. So before we go out and fly, I have some information of recent updates from the FAA to tell you about. Currently, FAA is examining things around remote ID. Remote ID is something that gives the ability for everyone to see everything in the air at one time. The comment period is currently open on this, and it's really important that you guys comment and make your voice known, because if it goes the wrong direction, it's gonna severely impact our hobby in a negative way. Now, we're working really hard through creating something called the FTCA, Flight Test Community Association, to hopefully represent you guys in a positive and accurate manner. This hobby needs your help in a big way. We need to make sure your voice is heard. Check out our YouTube channel, FTCA, linked down below, so you can get up to date and informed on how you can make your comments as impactful as possible. All right, so as you can see, we got a little bit of snow. A little bit of snow, a little bit of winter. <laughs> but that's not gonna stop us from flying these paper airplanes. Now, nope. I already, no matter how this goes, good or bad, in my mind, it's already a success because yeah. we have like giant football-sized paper airplanes yes. that you can chuck just as a free flight <laughs> glider. And it's a ton of fun. Yeah, but we want to take it one step further. We wanted to control it. We wanted to make it fly. I want to see this thing be able to do what I want to do when I want to do it because I'm not good at throwing paper airplanes. <laughs> so uh, same yeah, here. we got our controls. So yours is, was this long, long this, easy this is, this is called plane that flies long. And Noah, God bless him. I had to go down to manufacturing for the day and Noah put the electronics on. So I got, I got tiny little elevons. Yeah. And I got motors that are angled up. So what, what's your concerns here? I think it's going to pitch up and I'm not going to have any control. So yeah. He, <laughs> But part of it's my fault because he's asking me questions and I totally misunderstood him over the phone. So he did exactly what I told him to do. <laughs> That's <laughs> great. All right, all right well, well, we're gonna try it. All right? that being said, how about you go first? <laughs> go. All right, man, good luck. Right. Ready, let's do it. Get in there! Oh, yes. oh my gosh, look how yes. slow it is. Oh my gosh, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> it, it's <Yeah>. pretty cool. <laughs> let's see if I can turn it. What's going on? Oh. oh. Okay, so. I can make an adjustment for that. Can you grab my phone for me? Yeah. Okay. What, so what, what was it doing? So I have no, I have no control with the elevons other than maybe a little bit of pitch, but I have lots with differential thrust. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna dial Crazy Expo in my, my rudder, which will give me a softer differential thrust, and we're gonna try it again. Let's just tape some of the. Oh well, never mind. I'm out for the count. I, I got a, I got a floppy servo here. Uh, All right, servo let's, let's try yours, and maybe maybe there'll be time for round two. But long story short, it, it flew. Okay. <laughs> All right. So I have the what do you call it? It's just called paper airplane. The OG. It's the, cla it's the classic <laughs> Man. paper airplane. Um, I put a little hatch on there to cover up the electronics, but I wanted to preserve the paper airplane look as much as possible. If it flies like it did when it was a glider, I think it's going to be good. If it doesn't, that probably just means that I'm a bad pilot because <laughs> I took a classic design that never fails and makes it fail. All right, here we go. There Ooh, we go. She's a fast there one. There we go. That's... Oh, it looks good. It's working. <laughs> oh, yeah. Differential for the wind, too, on that one? No, no differential. Really? Yet. This is just straight up banking yank. Look at that, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh, it looks about awesome. the same speed for scale, too. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> it is awesome, dude. That's amazing, dude. 
childhood dreams come true. Did you have tendencies? I mean, it's a little wishy-washy on the roll axis. It like bobbles and weaves a little bit, but there's no vertical. Yeah, is it tail all? heavy? It looks a little tail heavy. It's flying a little nose up. Let's see yeah. what kind of vertical it has. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Dude, you're hovering it, bro. <laughs> it's actually pretty fast. <laughs> yes, yes. Awesome. Cuts through the wind like butter. Yeah, pull out. Dude, dude. you made a fair break. Oh, 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 roll. You can do a roll. <laughs> <laughs> Can you loop yeah. it? All right, I'll try. Let me turn into the wind here. It's pretty fast. I kind of so wish it was slower, but I'll take I'll take what I can get. Here we go for a loop. <laughs> Not having the loop. Didn't like it. It wasn't the prettiest. It was like a sideways loop. Oh, there you go. There it is. You just had to get. Oh, it. jeez. The triple. Let's go, jeez. On the corkscrew. That. Here, Josh, fly. Oh, you gotta fly. That looks Here. like a paper airplane should. Yeah, yeah, on the runway. Oh, uh, the bro. differential thrust is really nice to have. You going for the touch and go, bro? Trying to. <laughs> oh! oh. <laughs> Dude, you got it. I love it because it's like, what do you do with a paper airplane? The most extreme thing you can do is touch and go contest. <laughs> do it, do it. Get her on the runway. Get her on the touch and go goes. I'm <laughs> Oh, I'm landed. <laughs> Darn. If I put little casters under the prop, yeah, it dude. would work. Well, that's cool. I love it. I have some ideas. We have some ideas for yours. Why don't we go inside and see if we can uh, fix that up? I want to see it fly. Like okay, before we go inside, I just noticed that it stands up like that on its own, so I want to see if I can take it off. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Dude! <laughs> <laughs> go. All right, so we got everything fixed. Josh, yes. your plane looks a little different. A little different. Actually, I took some cues from you. I got a prop and slot now. We moved those motors in. Hopefully, they're aligned. And then also, I made my Elevon bigger. <laughs> Big old so flappers on the just, back. Just cut out the old ones, put bigger ones in. So uh, cool. I think we're we're all set to try it again. All right, let's do it. Good luck. So quiet. It is. Jeez, that <laughs> flies great. He's so floaty. I'm already jealous of your speed. It's much slower. Very well, I have. I'm yet to complete my first turn, so. This is true. There it goes. It's. There it, we go. It's a I, slow mover. Oh yeah. There we go. <laughs> it definitely has a lot more wing. It looks yeah. like an unfolded paper airplane. It, yeah. it kind of looks like an arrow. All all it is is your paper airplane just with the nose cut off and moved back. <laughs> yeah. But boy, it's hands off. It, Look I, at this, I'm dude. really so envious true. of your speed. I, that's how slow I was hoping mine would be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Josh, so, that's awesome, man. Thank goodness for differential thrust because I have no aileron control. And I think part of it's because the servos are uh, are not doing their job. <laughs> so I got up though. I could run next to that. I mean, <laughs> I, I could just it. I could walk next to that. That's so cool. <laughs> Ready for a punch out? Yeah. <laughs> that's so cool. <laughs> No rolls, just no rolls. <laughs> it doesn't do anything except just glide. Like I can just throttle back and be like, there. What's the glide slope? Is that zero yeah. throttle? That's Here's it. Zero throttle right there. Is that full up? Uh, yeah. Awesome. Hey Alex, we gotta fly together. Here we go. It looks awesome. There we go. There's both you guys. Sick. How does it this. feel there, Al? Oh, look at look that! At <laughs> is this a world first paper airplane formation? Paper airplane formation. <laughs> Are you guys touching? Almost. Almost, yeah. Hey, you know All what right, I think you should do? Left, okay? Is when you come down and land it, whenever it happens, uh, Alex just has to go on top of Josh's. Josh has to catch him. Look how cool they look in the air! <laughs> Josh, yours is inherently more stable because oh, of that. Oh, geez, it's ridiculous. <laughs> because of that, uh, like, Polyhedral on the outside yeah. of the wings, right? Well, and also it, it creates drag. It's not just uh, giving me polyhedral. Oh! oh! Get out! Yes! Get out! Yes! <laughs> oh man, I should have known. <laughs> oh, <it all> ends. <laughs> I love it. That was my fault, I believe. No, that's okay. I'm that's sorry. Okay. We wanted to get close. We got close. I'm sorry to you. I'm sorry <laughs> to all of you. So <laughs> amazing. <laughs> was amazing. It was like. <laughs> Didn't, who said? Who said we gotta like land and? I, yeah, land it. landing. You have to connect each other. We should probably go check out the damn. Yeah. Oh, we're fine. We can fly from here. We can. We can fly from here. Check your servos. Check your servos. Did you check? <laughs> he didn't even check his crap, did he? He did not. Yeah. You want to try yourself? Yeah. yeah. You want to try to check yourself like he did? Ready? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. 
Good, Alex. If you guys want to see more about this, I think what we need to do now is go after the world record. So make sure you subscribe. I think one of our next videos, we're going to supersize this and see if we can make the biggest RC awesome flying paper plane out there. Soft and gentle. Yeah. Oh. That just floats into my hands.